If you want to learn how to link up two nether portals so that either you can go through one and walk, let's say, five blocks in the nether, which equals 40 blocks in the overworld so you can get to your destination faster, or let's just say that you want, you're in a multiplayer server world and you're just coming out of different people's portals and it's a complete mess and you need to link up your portal, then make sure to stick around so that you know how to do it correctly. So we're going to start this off uh, with just a regular old nether portal. And if we go through here, obviously, as you guys could probably guess, we're going to go to the nether. Uh, like so. And I mean, that's a pretty nice place over here. It's not that bad. Uh, but the thing is, if I hope you guys know that if you travel one block, here, I'll actually go back and demonstrate it. If you travel one block, so if you go from here to here in the nether, so if I just go like that and I'm here, I just traveled eight blocks in the overworld, and uh, the overworld is like the um, regular world. So just from here, from here to here, that's eight blocks I've just traveled, which is pretty insane. So that's why it's really quite handy to use nether portals to get around in your world. So, how do you link them up, though? Because if we go all the way over here to this nether portal that I made, and if we travel through this one, you'd expect it to make a whole nether portal uh, quite far away, right? The thing is, no, we get out of this exact same portal, and then if we go back inside of it, then, guess what's going to happen? We're going to end up in this nether portal. Um, I don't think that we really want that. Because if we're trying to get from here to there really fast, I mean, there's not much of a way. So how do we actually link them up? That's what I'm here to show you guys. So, if we go over here, um, and we hit F3 on our keyboard, you will see, uh, right here, it says <coughs> X, Y, and Z. And right next to it, it says 172 point three um actually we should be around yeah wait no right here we should be right here so this way i'm moving x this way i'm moving y so you get right here and you see it says 171 actually that's the block i'm standing on and you pull up a calculator i have one right here and what you do is you take 171 and you just divide it by eight and that will equal, where's my equals? Oh wait, I think I'm covering it. Wait. Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, equals 21.3 blah blah blah. You would just round that, so now it'd be just 21. So then you take that and you write it down, so 21, I have a piece of paper with me. And then you go over to the side over here. Make sure you crouch so you don't actually go inside accidentally go inside and then it says <clears throat> right there 132 so then once again you take out your calculator and you put that in 132 and you just divide it by 8 and that equals 16.5 so around 17 ish now I already actually set this portal up but I'm still gonna demonstrate it uh, to you guys how to do it exactly so now if we go inside Usually your portal will not spawn, it will spawn like around those portals, uh, before it spawned it right here. And then what you just do is you find those coordinates in the nether, so 21x, so you head this way until you hit 21, I actually, yeah, a 21 right here. And then you go for the y of 17, so it would actually be right over here, I just was one off, which isn't that big of a deal. So it'd be like right here. So we just have to move it one if I really wanted to fix it. So that's how you link um, that up. So now that one will always go to this one because it's the closest one to its actual coordinates in the nether. So the, now if we w what if we want to link up our other one? Or the one that's like super far away. If we go right over here. And we head 
through it. Oh, actually take down the coordinates and divide those by eight. I forgot to do that. My bad. Aw, oh, and now we have to go way over there again. My bad, sorry guys. Run. There we go. Okay. So now if we take these coordinates. So X one hundred and sixty eight and sorry, two hundred and sixty eight. Two hundred and sixty eight. Divide that by eight. So thirty uh three point five. So I actually already have that marked down. I actually did 33 on my paper, not 34, but just one off does not make a huge difference. Uh, and then just divide the y oop, uh, by uh, 8, 2, and that's 17. I already put, uh, that's 16, sorry. I already put these guys down. So now if we head over here, find those coordinates, 33. So 33 is like right here, and then 17 is like right here. We're just going to use 16 so that we have a nice little passageway. Uh, once again, I'd already tested this just to make sure I have it all right. So we just light this up. Now, guess what's going to happen? Now that we have exactly the same coordinates, we're not going to go to that one that we always that we started on. We're going to go to that really far away. From now, usually, if we went into this guy, uh, we'd end up over there. Wait. If we went through this guy, then we'd end up in that other one like that that one's linked up to. But, now, if we go through it, we're in this one. And look how close they are to each other. Because you travel one block in another, you travel eight in the overworld. I mean, seriously, it's so close to each other. I mean, it's an, uh, this is absolutely insane. I love this feature that they added. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. So we're going to just make one more super far away. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you guys how it works again. So we're going to just fly this way for a while. And we'll even go to the side a little bit. And I'd say right about here. Yeah, you can't even, oh, nope, never mind. Let's go a little bit farther. Okay, right right here, right here. This is a good place. And let's just take our obsidian. Now, actually, I don't know if it's going to make a new one or if it's going to um, just go off of that one that we were at earlier. But either way, let's see. Well, we'll uh, put in the nice, correct position. Yeah, see? See, we're linked up to this one now. Over we'll here. Guess where we're going to be headed to? We're going to go all the way back here. So, if you're in a server or something and like everyone has their own nether portal, that's not going to be too good. So, what you have to do is you have to once again link it up. So, if we go right here, take the coordinates of X. X is 414. I uh, deleted my calculator, so I gotta get it back. Oop. Right there. Um, I said 414. Divide that by 8. 50, 52. And write that down. 52. And then... Uh, oh, man, why did I just delete it again? My bad. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna open that up again. And then 220. Uh, twenty-seven. Oh, uh, two hundred and twenty-five for y. Two twenty-five. Two hundred and twenty-five. Divide that by eight. That equals twenty-eight. So just going to write that down again. And now we can head back to the Nether. And once again, we'll be spawning in this guy again. Uh, but now we just gotta find those coordinates, so we gotta go more this way. Oop. Okay. Uh, by the way, I don't think that the Z coordinate matters that much at all. I wanna stay on the same level though, just so that... Um... So that we can just, like, make a nice straight passageway. Uh, 52 it is... 51 and 52, perfect. 
and then it was a y of 27 at uh, 28 so which way this way 20 6 27 28 here we go so now I'll just place that there and I'll take that away so that we can see better and I just like to do that just because I like it <laughs> I think there's lava right on top of the bus. Indeed, there is. I'm gonna cover that up. There we go. So one, two, and then one, two, three, and then just like that. And also, just gonna clean it up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer in here. And I think that should do. I'm just gonna open it up a little bit more make this a little bit wider because why not and then I'm going to take this and just make a nice little passageway and then I'm also just going to close it eh, I might not close it up I just, like I'm pretending that I'm in survival right now uh, why not just do this and then I mean it's not much more to do so there we go. Now if we head over here to this one and we light it, we should go all the way over to this one. Is that the right one? Yes, this is. So look how far away this one is compared to... You know what? Let me... Uh, video settings, render distance, 17. Look at how far away these two nether portals are. And then, actually, let's go all the way. Look at how far away these two are in the overworld, the regular world. Now if we just head over to this one, though. Jump inside. And head to... So, yeah, okay. Just head over right over here. It is so close in the nether. I mean, look at how close that is. And if we just hop right in here. Loading terrain. Ta-da! So, yeah, and then... One last thing that I'd like to point out is, let's say that um, we're in the nether instead, and we're making a portal there. This is the last thing I'm going to point out. And we head out. And then let's say that we want to make another portal. Right? Here. Um. Yeah, okay. Let's just say we want to make a portal right here. We make it. Oop. And then up here. Two across. And then just. Yeah, okay. Wait, is this big? This is. One, two, three. Okay, never mind. This is standard size. Uh, we light it. And then. We take, go inside. You will more than likely be transported to pit load. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, oh, it actually did make a new one. Alright, but if it does not make a new one, which would actually be surprising because you're traveling eight blocks, oh geez. Uh, I'm going to turn my render distance d back down to normal really fast, so my computer will go a little bit faster. Um, but if it doesn't, all you have to do is you have to go back, and you have to uh, fill load. All you have to do is take uh, the coordinates of this one. 
So, oh, jeez, what is that doing there? Um, huh, that was odd. Uh, okay, so you have to just take the coordinates, so it's, it's 10 right here, negative 10, make sure you get the negatives. Ooh, man, I don't know if I've been doing the negatives. I don't think we've been in the negatives. Okay, anyway, and you just times it, so that would be negative 80. Oop, jeez. My hand slipped. It doesn't really matter, though. Alright, uh, so that'd be negative 80. And then, take the X, uh, the, wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then, it's 7 times 8. And then, all you have to do is you have to write it down. And then you head back over here. And if it didn't link up, then you just go to that those coordinates in this world, and you'd be good to go. So yeah, it's a little bit off centered. It should be like a little bit over here more, but it's all right. So yeah, uh, thank you guys. I think that that's that's about it. Yeah, I mean, I think we covered everything. Here, one second. Let me take this out. I don't even know where those other portals are. Huh. Well, I guess we could figure out if we really wanted to. But I think that we're good. I think that's enough. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my channel. And I hope that you guys like this. I hope that you found it useful. And that you'll use it in your survival worlds. And even creative if you just want to get around to different places. Because it's a really good, like, really good tool to have. Let's go back through this guy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, please like the video, and please subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Uh, and it would just mean a lot to me, and because I mean I've been trying to get this channel going. I know that it's not easy uh, to do, and I'm okay with that. I'll keep it up and do my best. But yeah, it'd just be really awesome if you guys help me out a little bit so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys i hope to see you on my channel soon bye